get out there in some kind of uh, competitive way and uh, uh, get to know uh, the guys uh, and their tendencies on the ice a little better. Just what sort of, I mean, obviously you kind of had some injuries last year. What are you trying to prove? Do you feel like you're proving it? I mean, how long do you have to sort of prove yourself, do you think? Well, um, I have to prove that uh, I'm healthy again and I uh, can play up to my uh, potential again. And what I've showed in the past, I think everybody, uh, management and coaches know uh, what I can do. And uh, it's just up to me to go out there and, uh, and show it. When did you start to feel right again, more like yourself? Um, the, the season was done uh, um, a couple weeks uh, uh, in Pittsburgh. Uh, and... Uh, that's when uh, I I, uh, I took a vacation first after we lost in the first round and uh, then I uh, skated again for for about a week and got cleared after that and um, which was nice to get a, a full summer uh, of uh, training in. How long was the vacation? Did you go any place cool or anything like that? Uh, we went to uh, Turks and Caicos with the family and uh, yeah, it was really uh, um, fun uh, being with the kids and uh, just relaxing and uh, taking the mind off hockey too. How did that make you feel better? Was there anything, I mean, was it like swimming or just kind of relaxing? Uh, probably just taking the mind off hockey because um, the toughest part about uh, uh, being out with a concussion is uh, that uncertainty. You don't know uh, what day is going to be a better day and what day not. And then uh, especially being out in the playoffs, it, uh, it's, it's more of a, a um, mental uh, thing that, it's, that it wears on you. And uh, um, when you just can take your mind off it, uh, that uh, usually helps, uh, helps too. How's the adjustment been so far, both on the ice and off? Uh, both uh, has been has been great. Uh, it's been it's been uh, uh, fun being around uh, the town here and uh, um, finding a place uh, to live. And my family came in uh, a little later, beginning of uh, this week, and uh, they've enjoyed it uh, um, a lot so far too. And uh, uh, the guys uh, have been great, uh, welcome me, and uh, it's a it's a good group of guys and I'm uh, happy to be a part of it. How do you feel the adjustments going on the ice? Um, it's, it's a work in progress. Um, I got a little uh, head start uh, sitting, sitting down with uh, John and going through uh, some, some video and uh, what is uh, expected here, uh, the way uh, the Kings uh, play and uh, um, that's going to be a, a work in progress. Obviously moving forward, uh, going through more uh, preseason games and starting the regular season, uh, watching some tape of my myself uh, doing it on the ice and uh, finding some uh, adjustments. Looking back a couple of years, what was the pressure like dealing with that big contract you got in Buffalo? I mean, was there a lot that came with it or how do you think you handled it? No, uh, I didn't put too much pressure on myself. Uh, um, in the end, I, I deserved that uh, contract from what I had done uh, um, previously and uh, um, it was just uh, probably a bad time for me to come uh, into Buffalo with uh, this, the way uh, things turned out there. Um, um, first it was really looking good and I thought I, I would go to a, a team that's um, just maybe a few moves away from being competitive for the Stanley Cup and it just uh, you know turned out the way that uh, it wasn't that way and then they broke it all down and uh, it just wasn't it was a bad time for me to come in but still it was uh, uh, another experience in my career and uh, um, I still um, en enjoyed uh, um, the time in, in Buffalo. Uh, I just, uh, now I've, I've moved on and uh, I'm happy I can be uh, uh, here with the Kings and uh, uh, play for the Stanley Cup, which uh, is obviously my big goal. Did you get a lot of questions in Buffalo just about that, just the contract? Because obviously there was so much fanfare around it between you coming in and a bunch of other guys. I mean. Um, no, more later, uh, some questions, especially after um, they had asked me for my list, uh, f uh, no trade list f uh, at the trade deadline and some rumors uh, came in and everybody uh, was heading out of town. Uh, um, that's when the question started in, but uh, in the end I didn't uh, um, really had an influence on that. Um, they bought me out uh, because of that. Um, um, I don't even know how they call it in the CBA that uh, uh, rollback penalty because uh, my deal was front loaded and that's the reason I left and I have nothing uh, bad to say about uh, anything. Like I said, I'm I'm still uh, still had a good time there and uh, just wasn't uh, successful and was a bad time uh, that way.
bad timing that way, not bad timing. Oh, it's, it's been fun so far. Uh, um, he, he's a funny guy to be uh, around with, and uh, he's obviously one of the top players uh, um, in the game right now, and he's, he's won it all, so uh, um, I'm, I'm sure we'll have fun along the way. Do you, obviously, you're known for your speed and kind of picking your spots on the rush. Do you feel at age 33 you still have the wheels that, that you had when you were younger? You, you look like you did out there, so. Yeah, I, I like to think so, but uh, um, obviously, you, you're getting older. It's uh, um, Physics are maybe slowing uh, you down a little bit, uh, but I, I think I still have lots in the, in the tank left, and uh, um, I think that's something that... Uh, um, can uh, benefit my game and uh, the Kings game uh, um, moving forward.